Welcome to part nine. Everything's working perfectly. <laughs> okay, so I did it again, um, but I'm running player one in my editor. And uh, so if you remember in part eight, everybody's showing the same hand. And it's such a ridiculous reason why. Um, it's because player four, everybody's got a canvas. And player four's canvas is on top. So if I take off player four's canvas, there's player three, player two, and then there's my cards there, right? Diamonds. So I just need to add a simple piece of logic. So let's go to project, card player, playmaker, and this canvas we're going to um, deactivate. And so we are going to um, create a new FSM and we're gonna call this um, display canvas. And we're just gonna do a get is mine. And let me close those other guys while I'm at it here. Close all of them. And uh, is the owner mine? Then we are going to do is mine. Let's rename that fence is mine. And uh, if it's not mine, is not mine. Okay, so if it's mine, we're going to activate this canvas. Game object, activate game object. Don't need it to be recursive. All right, and then if it's not mine, we're gonna disable this FSM. So enable FSM. And this one that we want is the display canvas. Goodbye. All right, so disable FSM. And then this is going to activate canvas. Okay, so um, let's just hit play. Make sure it doesn't break anything. I'm sure it won't. And uh, let's skip ahead by coming down to my cheat event. Alt click, blink, shuffle, deal, deal. Great. Um, let me click on my player. Bet. says I should be holding player one. It says I should be holding the nine of clubs. Ah, but the problem is um, it's it's dealing all the players' cards to me, so it's just taking turns. So um, like Jack of Spades, is this in here? Spades 11, yeah. So everything that's in my uh, array, it's here. Um, so yeah, um, so the reason it's it's in a weird order I think it's because it's, it's dealing everyone's to me because I'm the only player in the player array. Um, or just maybe not. Let's see, there's my there's my jack. There's my, yeah, my six of diamonds isn't here. My eight, there's my clubs eight. There's my five of diamonds. There's my clubs nine. There's my hearts five. So for some reason, my six of diamonds isn't here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think it's just because my... Uh, I'm just doing one player when the logic requires four. So great. So um, let's look at. So here we have our GitHub issues. Um, we have dealt the deck. So I can now close that. All right. So the next thing we want to do is how are we going to handle the logic to draw a card? Um. Well, unfortunately, our hands aren't big enough for that. <laughs> but um, maybe we'll do to place card first. All right. And so if we come back here and then we go to that milestone. All right. So we're going to place a card first. And then we'll learn how to draw a card. All right. So we need a place to place our card, but we need that place to be the same for everyone. Um, so we have no canvas in our scene, and that's fine because all of our own, all the players have their own canvas, and um. 
you know what I'm gonna have to do is I need to bring my I need to bring my player up here and just activate the canvas so I see I can see what's going on. All right, so here's my canvas. Yeah, and for some reason I don't have I do have canvas scaler. So that was weird that when I was scaling earlier, I didn't feel like it was scaling properly. All right, um, yeah, scene. Um, oh, that's the scene view. Yeah, game view. Why wasn't, uh, it looked like earlier it wasn't scaling the canvas properly. But this works. So now I need a place to um, place my card. So on my canvas, let's just create a UI uh, panel. All right, and then in our rect transform, we are going to alt shift and center it. And then we can adjust the width, I don't know, something like that. And we can adjust the height like that. I don't really know how big I want it to be. And let's just move it up a bit. And we're gonna just call this discard file. All right, so I'm not gonna mess with turns and stuff. Um, maybe you want me to mess with turns. Instead, um, let's take a look at our card slots. Oh, wait a minute. Um, let's go ahead and override these and then let's delete this from the scene and let's go into the prefab. Okay. Um, so in the scene view, yeah, I can see it in the scene view. I should have stayed in the scene view. So we need to do some sort of click and drag feature here. Um, so this isn't gonna be super pretty for the other players because remember our canvas isn't even visible to the other players. Um, so we want to be able to click and drag our cards. Um, hmm. I don't want to mess with click and drag. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create an FSM. And um, I'm going to add a state. And I'm going to add a global transition of UI events, UI pointer down. So if a pointer clicks on this card, I want to, I'm just gonna grab the image, drag it here. I'm going to uh, UI image set color. And we're gonna make it like a yellowish color. Like that. Um, but then when we do this, this would be so much easier if I had made these buttons. <laughs> uh, if you'd made these buttons, then it would it would change. Um I'm gonna do it this way. You can do it a different way. I'm doing it this way. Um, so on pointer down. Uh, we've clicked it and then I'm going to do, uh, on pointer down on this card slot one, I want to array get no, I can't array. I, that's not going to work. So on, we're going to send event. but we need to set event string data. Um, get event, you can get event int data. Okay, cool. So we're gonna send event int data. Send event, no, set event int data. All right. So we're gonna set data on an event that we're going to send next. And so if you rep these card slots, if you think of them representing the array that actually holds the scriptable objects, this is uh, in array index zero, the first card here. 
Okay, I should hope so. All right, so then now we're going to send event. And I want to send this to the actual card player. Um, so game object FSM. Okay, so we're sending it to the um, owner. No, we're going to specify. We're going to send this to the card player. And the event we're going to send, um, they don't have one yet. Let's, let's go over there and do that. So we're going to come over here. We're going to create a new FSM. And this FSM is going to be um, play card. All right, so then we'll state um, no, this one we just need a variable, and then we're going to make this uh, int selected card. So we're going to come back here on pointer down. We're not going to send an event, we're going to set fsm int so we're going to specify the game object it's going to be on the card player the fsm is going to be play card the variable is going to be selected card and the value that we're going to set is uh zero um because it's going to be index zero on the hand array all right so, um, I'm not sure why you're red there. Um, you shouldn't be red because I selected selected card. There we go. All right, so um, on pointer down, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set FSM int. So now I should be able to, uh, we're going to do call this um, select, highlight selected card. But the other thing that we need to do, and again, this would have been better if this had been buttons, because if these had all been buttons, um, what I could have done instead was it would have automatically highlighted when clicked. Um, and so I wouldn't need to do this part, but we need to um, UI graphic set color of every other one to white. All right, so that's slot two, slot three, Slot four, slot five, slot six, and slot seven. All right, so when this one's clicked, it's gonna change its color to yellow, and then it's gonna change all the other ones to um, white, so that they're no longer selected. So now let's copy this component and we are going to paste it on all the others. But we need to go in here now and on the graphic set color slot two, we're just put that one to one. And the int needs to change to uh let's do this instead. Simplify our lives just a little bit. Remove all those. Card slot one, graphic set color, and we're gonna do this uh, card slot. Um, hey, calling it card slot. We're gonna call this card slot A. Okay, and then this is gonna be card slot B. And then card slot C. Card slot D. Card slot E. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. And card slot F. Checking my phone. All right, so if we come over here to variables and we set these all as inputs, and if we go to this FSM int, 
we make this uh, index value, we make this an input. All right, now I can come over here to three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so now if I copy this, again, copy this, and I put it in all these other ones, right click, paste component is new. Now, if I go here, instead of slot two, I can slot one, call this one, enter, three. Again, I can put one in this top slot here and set this to two, right? Is that what we did one over here, didn't we? Yeah, one, two, and then here, put slot one. Oh, wait, am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, three, I need to put two in here. All right, and then go back to, make sure two is good, yeah three, four. So four, I want to replace slot four with slot one. Um, and then this should be three. And then five, I want to replace five with slot one. This should be four. Six, I want to replace six with slot one. This should be five. And seven, I'll replace seven with slot one. And this should be six. All right, so card player. I'm going to play a card. So now if I want, to, if I click here, and again, I should have made these buttons, but I'm not going to. If I click on the discard pile, um, I might just make this a button. No, I don't want to. I don't want it to be a button. I don't know why. I just don't want it to be a button. Um, um, what if I do pointer click? All right, so for the UI on pointer clicker, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I'll specify the game object and the discard pile. On pointer click event, let's click. And um, you'd want to set up some logic here. Uh, like, because if I haven't selected any cards yet and I just click this, it's going to automatically pick my first one because my selected card, excuse me, this is at zero. So I guess I could make it a minus one. There we go. That'll make it safe. All right. So then we're gonna, we can come in here. And once I've clicked on this, control, click, drag, new state. Um, so let's say click, um, wait to click discard pile. It's not really a discard pile. It's more of a play pile. Um, so when I click, then I'm going to, I'm going to array get um you know what i also need to do is i want to i want to duplicate this card slot i want to put it in my discard pile i want to remove this and i want to zero out the position um and then i want to alt shift center all right so that that I have, I'm gonna call this discard card. Okay. All right, so now I have a card there. Nice. Um, so, um, come back over here. So now I want to array get, the array I wanna get from is uh, FSM array fsm array item no um don't i have a hand here cards in hand okay yeah so fsm array item on the owner cards in hand um the cards in hand array index selected card right now it's at minus one um, so this is a type of object. This is going to be a card scriptable object, and we're going to store this as card to play. All right, get card to play. And then we're going to get the property, get property of the card to play. 
And the property we want to get is... Why is it do object type card descriptable object? Store it as card to play object. Yes, object type. It does not like doing this. Card descriptable object. So now card card to play. Now get property card to play. There we go. Now we know what it is. And we want the um, card sprite. We want the sprite. Store the object as the sprite. All right, so we've got the sprite and um, now we want to set sprite, UI image set sprite. No, we want to, we don't even need to get the sprite. We need to get the FSM array item. I want to get the property, not the sprite. I want to get the ID. And we're going to played card ID. Because then what we're going to do is we are going to broadcast an event. So an RPC. Broadcast FSM event to all. And it's going to be on the discard pile if really i can put it right on this discard card add fsm add state um right click add global transition now we gotta make it first um the event we're gonna do is called play card all right add global transition play card back to the card player and the remote event we're gonna do is Play the card and the string data we're going to send is convert play card ID, right? That's what we called it. Yeah, play card ID. Okay, so when we click and then we can do add transition finished. But let's do, uh, let's do a next frame. Otherwise, that might loop infinitely. Sometimes it does that with stuff like this. All right, so then we'll come back here for the next time. All right, so we're broadcasting that event. We're sending the played card ID, but we also, we also, let's just do one thing at a time. So let's go to the, uh, the discard pile, play card, and we are going to get event end. but it wasn't an int data. We converted, so it's just get event string data. All right, so the last event this received was the played card int. Uh, I guess it was played card ID, whatever. Um, and so then we're going to, array get, no, then we're gonna get FSM array get, Get FSM array item. <laughs> and we're getting it from the player deck. The FSM name is the deck. The variable name is the deck of cards. The index we want, convert played card int. And the type is an object. What object type is it? It's a card scriptable object. We're gonna store the value. Let's come over here and make it first. Um, card object. It's not a float, it's an object. And what type of object? Card scriptable object. There we go, come over here. And now store the value as card object. Okay, get that, get that, get property. Get property. And the property that we want is from the card object and the property is called, called sprite, card sprite sprite store it as card sprite and then we are going to set image sprite we're going to oh it's this one so it can be the owner and the sprite we're going to set is that's ridiculous um why your sprite yes I'm not sure how that happened our sprite all right 
And just to be safe, we are going to um, drag this in here, set property, enabled. Just in case it's not enabled. So now, that might be enough logic to test now. And if it is, we are done with part nine. This is part nine, right? All right, so let's cheat. Alt click, boom, shuffle, deal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause, see if it'll let me continue. All right, so now if I click a card, it's yellow. Aha, look at that. All right, so let's play the Jack of Diamonds right here. Okay, so what did it do? Player. Um, let's go to play a card. So we wait for a click. What's our variable? Um, card to play is spades two. That is not what I clicked on. Um, let's click here. Click here. This should be changing each time, right? Canvas, hand panel, card slot one. So, on pointer click, card slot one is the five of hearts. So if I click on this, which you just saw that did it, it sets it yellow, sets everything else to white, and then it's going to set the player one's play card selected value index value to the index value, which is zero. So play card selected value. So come back up here to the player, play card, variables, Oh, well, how did our name change? I don't know how the name changed. Um, so card player, I don't know if you saw that. So card slot one, playmaker, pointer down. We were setting variable name selected card from the play card FSM. And if we look in our variables, there is no, I guess it's played card ID. No, selected card. It is selected card. So why didn't it change? Let's try again. Over here, it's finishing all that. It's finished, alt click, shuffle, deal, unpause. So now if I come over here to player one, if I look at my canvas, hand panel, card slot one, I click, so it's giving the graphic color, blah, 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 blah. And it should be setting the player one's play card FSM to the selected card of zero. So if I go to player one, play card, selected value. Am I missing something here? Card slot one, state, variable name, selected card. Why do I keep saying selected value? Selected card, player one, variables, selected card is set to zero, as it should be. If I click here, there, one. Okay, so it's doing what it should. Three, four, zero. Okay. So now if I click here, in this state, it's getting the FSM array item. Shouldn't be getting selected card. Yeah, it should be getting selected card. Selected card is zero. Oh, but they're not in that order. Why aren't they in the right order? I remember I thought before I had to do because I didn't do an actual build with all four players. Let's see if it changes if I use all four players. All right. Should be having player four pop in. There it is. All right, let's shuffle. Let's deal. All right, so here's my cards. I'm player one. Yeah, they're not in the same order. So something weird is going on. So we should have diamonds one, but I don't have diamonds one. I have diamonds 10 and I don't have diamonds 10. I shouldn't have diamonds 10. Um, I don't have any of these cards. 
Why? What is going on here? Um, player four. Okay, I'm seeing player four's canvas again. Why? Display canvas. Because if it's mine, oh, you know what I did? Um, I uh, while I was setting stuff up, I left the canvas activated. So one way I can fix that is just to be safe, come in here, display canvas. And let's just copy that, paste it, make sure it's first and deactivate it. But I still don't want it to be active right now anyways. Um, so let's build one more time. All right, let's bring them up one more time here. There we go. Shuffle, deal, player one. There we go. Seven of diamonds, seven of hearts, three of diamonds, ace of diamonds, four of hearts, five of diamonds, six of spades. All right, so if I click seven of diamonds and then I click there, it should be placing that there. Why is it not? So if we go to play card, we're getting the card to play. The card ID is 19, okay, from our decorate. So now if I go to, um, it's sent an event, play card. So this should be on the discard pile, right? Play card. So it got the 19. It got the seven of diamonds. It's, ugh, I didn't store it? You for serious right now? Dagnab it. All right, let's, let's go fix that. All right, discard pile, playmaker, play card. Store this as so weird. UI image set sprite, so this should be card sprite. The property that we are getting is the card sprite. We're storing it as card sprite. We're going to set the owner of this image to this card sprite and then we're gonna make sure it's enabled all right building one more time all right we're running them all again shuffle shovel deal okay five of clubs place it boom now does everybody else see the five of clubs boom five of clubs wow i might actually know what i'm doing here Five of clubs and five of clubs. Now, nothing's stopping with my current life. No, the five of clubs is still in my hand. We didn't set up for logic for that. But what would happen if I take this ace of hearts from this player? Apparently, I can't, I can't, I can't click that player. <laughs> Can I click on any of my other players? Why can't I click on those players? Um, that doesn't make any sense to me because it's on play card, get card, no, it's on um, hand panel, the card slot, right? If I pointer down on it, there's nothing that's, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to click on those. Um, I wonder if it's just because it was out of focus. I don't know why it wouldn't let me click here, but I could, can I play more here? Yeah, I can play more from my, this player. Um, I don't know why these players can't do it. On the, no, that's just updated Ace of Clubs. Um, so I'll just, I'll do one more build and then we'll end this part where I will make one of my builds player one and see if it works. All right, so here, this is my player one. All right, we'll shuffle, we'll deal. Nine of Clubs, Nine of Clubs. Super weird. Why can't I click on these? Well, we'll take a look at that. This is the second episode in a row where uh, we ran into a bug that we didn't fix, but we'll get it in part 10. See you then.